Hello, my name is Courtney Bentley and I am a consultant with Keystone AEA and this is a quick tutorial on how to utilize um, voices on your computer to read things out loud for students. So you might be a student yourself watching this video to learn how to use it or you may be a teacher who wants to teach their kids how to use this. So um, I'm going to walk you through this really quickly. Um, I am sharing my screen and I do have an Apple. Um, so a PC might be just a little bit different, um, but it does require to use Google um, through your drive. So if you're not a Google user, you'll probably want to get a Google or a Gmail account to do that. And um, you will need to be able to access your system preferences. So if your school has that locked down, you'll need to gain some access to that. Um, so you can see my screen right now. Um, the first thing, um, the first step that we need to do in order to turn on um, a, a voice reader on your computer is to go up to the Apple and go to System Preferences. So if you can see my little arrow here, um, I'm going into System Preferences, um, and you're going to go down to the little microphone that says Dictation and Speech and click on that. There's Dictation, which is another tutorial for another time, but you are going to click on the text-to-speech option. And most of you, if you've never used speech before, this speak selected text when the key is pressed option is blank. You will want to click on that. And then you will also want whoever is going to be using this technology um, for whatever student is going to be using this, you're going to want to allow them some time to decide what voice works for them and what speed. Um, I personally like Samantha. She's the one who I've chosen. Um, but there are a variety of voices. Um, the most popular male voice is Alex. Um, and then you will also want to play around with the speed. Typically, I choose normal. Um, but I'm going to slow the rate down just a little bit for the purposes of today. And then it gives you the option to um, test that out. So I'm going to show you what that sounds like here. Most people recognize me by my voice. Most people. So I'm going to switch it back to Samantha because that's the voice that I prefer. And I'm slowing her speed down just a little bit. But again, allow the student some time to play around with that just a little bit and decide what sounds best for them. So once you have this picked out and you have the check here saying that you've turned it on, you've enabled it, um, the current key option for the shortcut for turning your voice on is option escape. You press both of, both of those buttons and that will turn your voices on. Um, you can change that key for something else if you would prefer to use a different shortcut, but option escape is the typical um, shortcut for that. So I'm going to click back out of system preferences. Now my voice is enabled. Whenever I have a Word document open or anything that is um, like typed text, um, I can highlight whatever I want to and it will read it aloud. It will also sometimes do that within a web, um, like a website as well, depending on where you're at. So for example, if I was working on a document within Google Drive and maybe a friend shared something with me and we're collaborating or I wrote something and I wanted something read back to me or something was sent to me in Word and I'm having trouble reading it by myself. Um, this is a document as an example. Um, whatever you highlight, you press option escape and it will read to you. Welcome to Keystone AEA's instructional strategy. I press option escape again and it stops. Um, if you let it play, it'll just read until it ends where you've highlighted. Now, the next barrier is sometimes teachers have worksheets or they send um, something through Google Drive in a PDF. Um, so that can't be read by a text reader just alone. Um, you need to put an extension on your computer called Kami. I was calling it Kami previous today, but I've learned that it's called Kami. Um, so I'm going to show you how to put that on your computer. Um, as you can see on mine, if you look at the top right-hand corner of my screen here, this is how you know your extension is loaded on your um, web browser. It's a white K with a purple circle. So I'm going to show you how to put it on your computer if you don't have it on there already. You need to go to like the um, web store within Google. It looks like this. You can search Google web store if you don't have it on your computer as a shortcut. And you are going to search inside the web store, K-A-M-I. And it's going to be this purple box here. Now, because I've already added it as an extension to my Chrome, it doesn't have this purple button, but if you don't have it, it'll say add to Chrome, and then you just follow the directions on what to do there, and then it should start to show up um, up here on the top right-hand side of your web browser to show that, that you have that. 
Um, so then once you have Kami, I'm going to show you an example of what you can do once you're in. I'm gonna open up my drive and I'm going to um, search for a PDF that's been sent to me and I can't read it by myself. I would really like um, the computer to read it to me, but right now it's a picture. The computer doesn't recognize it as words. Um, so I'm going to convert it through Kami into what's called an OCR. So here's the thing that my teachers asked me to do. Um, I want to be able to participate it. I don't want somebody to read it to me. I want to be able to read it myself, um, but I don't know some of the words. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. it right now it's in a PDF. I can see that on the side. I'm going to open it within Kami OCR. That's going to take that extension and open it now, and it's going to allow me to convert it. Now, if this PDF was saved on my desktop, I could just physically drag whatever document is over here on my desktop and drag it over and drop it in there. But this is the document right in Google um, Drive that I've chosen. So I'm just going to click Next. So what it's doing is it's processing it. It takes a few seconds, but it doesn't take terribly long. And then what it's going to do is it's going to change it from a picture file, and then it's going to turn the words, it's going to recognize it with, with having words. So I need to export it into Kami, and that's what it's doing right now. It's converting it from one to the other, and then I'm going to ask it to open. I'll know that I'm in the right extension when I see sort of this purple frame all the way around the screen um, that shows that Kami is being used. Um, it has some other cool tools too that's for another tutorial over here on the left hand side that you can play with, but right now we're just working on the read aloud section. So I kind of know what this says up here. I know that I need my name and the date. This is the part that I can't read by myself. So I'm highlighting it and I'm going to press my option escape and then I'm gonna click on it again so that that highlighting goes away so I can read along while it reads out loud. So option escape. Work personality profile, please describe the client's observed work performance using the five options listed below to complete the 58 behavioral items. Four equals a definite strength. An employability asset three equals adequate performance. Not a particular strength to it. Option escape stops it again. Let's say I go back here and I didn't know for sure what this said. Read it aloud to me again. I'm gonna press option escape and then click to make that highlighting go away. Four equals a definite strength, an employability asset. Just read the part that was highlighted there. So um, hopefully you can find this useful. It does take a few steps and some getting used to it first. But if you are interested in being more independent and in being able to read things on your own, um, this is a great way for you to be able to turn a PDF into something that your text reader can recognize. So thank you for watching this tutorial and that you found it useful.